Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Tangram Height Mapper and 3ds Max's Displace tool to be able to create a 3D terrain in 3ds Max. So this is the Tangram Height Mapper website. It's free. Um, it has a couple of basic tools in the top left. So the first one is Auto Exposure, which is pretty much what it says. It auto exposes the colors, so whatever's on the screen, the whitest is the highest point and the blackest is the lowest and as you can see in the top left the numbers changing up and down based on the height that is visible on the screen so if we zoom back out we'll try out the ocean data so this just shows the terrain underwater you can see ocean caverns from satellite view now we'll turn that one back off the map lines helps a lot with being able to identify where you are in the world and of course the labels do as well so what I want to do is I want to try and map where Mount Everest is which is somewhere here in Nepal close to the Chinese border so I'm going to lock in probably here I think so the whiter it is the taller it is like we said before so we can see that this is a really terrainous part of the world so if I click export that'll just download it to my downloads folder and then we'll look at putting it into 3ds max so once we get into 3ds max I'm just gonna maximize our perspective view and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a plane in to map out the bitmap so we'll drop a plane in we want it to be really large so that the bitmap comes up a bit better so I'll probably just make that 15,000 by 30,000 so we just have a perfect rectangle so we'll zoom out and we can see it's quite big so now I need to add segments so that each segment can be manipulated by the displace tool so I'll add in a set of segments now and then if I click F4 then I can see the actual edge lines for each segment um, the max is a thousand each way so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that so that our segments are square by going back into our modifier list so if I click on that and I'll just change that to 500 and there we go we have square segments so now what I want to do is add the displace modifier so I'm just going to go to the modifier list and type displace and it's the displace by itself one so I'll just scroll down and select that now that I've added that on what I need to do is I need to create the bitmap material so if I just click M and open materials and drag my bitmap into there we now have that material so now I'll just drag that material and connect it to the map parameter underneath displace just there and then select it as an instance and click OK and now you can see under map we have that material bitmap linked and now we can start to play around with the actual displacement by changing the number values so if you only up it by a few it's quite small based on the scale of the actual plane that we inserted before being 15,000 by 30 so I want to add a little bit more as you can see it's kind of displacing a little bit but if we want to really drastically change it we'll up it by a significant amount and now you'll be able to see that there is a significant displacement going on on the plane I'll click F4 and get the edges turned off so that we can see the pure form a bit better by itself and you can lower it and increase it pretty live without lagging your computer depending on what kind of computer you've got so we can see the mountain ranges there that's probably a little bit more realistic as opposed to the sharp angles that we were looking at before and if I want to make it look a little bit more realistic I can edit the materials of the actual mountain ranges themselves so I'm going to copy the plane by control V and then copy so that it's unlinked from its parent and I'm just going to move that up so that I can see the two different planes I'm going to get rid of the displacement on this one so that we just have it flat and then I'll change the color to a blue to represent the ocean surrounding so if you line it up a little bit like that it can look like a mountain range next to the ocean I'll change the mountains to a different color not really happy with that gray so I'll go back into the color selector and I'll just make my own color I think we'll go for a more greeny gray 
So we'll probably, that looks about right. Yep, add that. So if you want to get it really accurate, based on the exposure from the bitmap website, what you can do is you can use the actual value that it gave us for the highest, which was 8270. Because this was auto exposure, I don't think this is exactly what the height is meant to be because it wasn't in comparison to the rest of the world because that doesn't look very correct to me, not that I've been to Mount Everest. But I'll just adjust it so it looks a bit more aesthetic. And there we go. There is a basic displacement terrain map in 3ds Max.